Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lab and today I'm going to be doing a Vault City beer, another one. This one is, uh, pardon me, this one is even small, double maple, triple chocolate, blueberry, at 8.4%. There it is. I love this can art. It's like a, uh, what's the name? Artist. Oh, what's his name? Anyway, oh, what's his name? Picasso. Like Picasso paintings stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, eight point four percent. I'm looking forward to this one. It sounds really, really nice. I had a small beer the other day, uh, not too long ago actually, the uh, yonder one, and I quite enjoyed that. So I'm wondering what Vault City can achieve. So yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Go from the back. Says our campfire favorite is back this time with even small maple and chocolatey goodness. A dessert sour of epic proportions. We're paying homage to the winter weather uh, and warm fireside snacks with mountains of blueberries, cacao nibs, and sweet maple syrup. Says that there. So it's a good thing I'm having this while we're still in the colder, like a fake spring. It's really cold, or it's been getting cold, and then it warms up a bit, and it gets really cold again. So, um, yeah, looking forward to it. It's a vegan-friendly beer, and that is all that is on the can. So let's crack it open and see what we got, shall we? That's not the colour I was expecting. In fact, that's really not the colour I was expecting. Right. So there's the beer. Lovely. So we have ourselves a nice deep purple, almost ruby red coloured beer. I know the camera makes it look a bit pinker, but it's not. Uh, but the head is bright pink. Compact head. Looks fantastic. Let's get a smell, shall we? So here we go. Then blueberries straight away. I mean, before I even get into it, I can smell the blueberries just by holding it. You can smell them strong. That maple syrup, that burnt sugar, um, you know, sugary, burnt sugar, caramelly smell to it. Not really getting much of the chocolate. Yeah, I'm getting blueberries, I'm getting the maple syrup, you know, the, the sugar. A little bit of maltiness. It smells great. Let's get Malcolm for body and carb. It's not, it's not what I was expecting. Um, Both the body and the carb are like medium. The sour scale, I'm giving it a good seven. It's a nice, sharp, tarty sour to that. Ah. So far, so good. Let's get a big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Oh. Oh. Right. I like the smell. First thing you get, blueberries. Really, really juicy, punchy, tart, sour, sharp blueberries. It's really, really nice. It's a nice, uh, fruity, sort of uh, refreshing, currenty taste to it. Um, it's followed up really, really closely again by the maple syrup. It's there. You've got this nice sugary, sweet, caramelly, burnt sugar um, flavour to it. Chocolate is very mellow compared to the rest of the flavours. Um, you can taste a little bit, uh, pardon me, like uh, a little bit of a milk chocolatey creaminess to it, but it's not really coming through as much as the blueberries and the syrup, the maple syrup. It's just a bit lacking in the chocolate department. Not sure why. Top that up. Oh. That looked quite thick at the bottom there. I didn't put it on camera. I didn't think I'd need to, but... A couple of floaters in that now. Actually, it's like the chocolate was at the bottom. I 
wonder if the, is this a shake to wake? Have I missed something here? No, it's not. I will. I'll, I'll give a bit of a thing. Um, give it a little bit of a swill. If you're just pouring it when it's been sat upright, give it a bit of a swill, and then pour it. You get a bit more of a chocolatey taste at that bottom there. It's like more of a creamier, chocolatey flavour. Um, came through a bit more, which I wasn't really expecting. It is. It's there for some reason now. The body feels a bit thicker. Hmm. I wonder if it's meant to be a shake to wake and I've, I've they've either not printed it or I've missed it. it. Doesn't say it anywhere that I can see. I feel like it should be a shake to wake. Um just because that last bit, like I said, I gave it a bit of a, a little bit of a swill, poured it in, and I got a massive hit of chocolate and it feels a bit creamier, a bit thicker in the body. Um but yeah, flavour's there, borderline. I was going into something before I topped that up. Um, I was saying it was blueberries, big hits. Uh, pardon me. Nice and refreshing, tart, flavors, flavorful. Sugar from the maple syrup, nice and sweet. Almost caramelly, syrupy, you know, flavour. Uh, I was going to say the chocolate's not there, but I've got the chocolate. Um, but there is the uh, multi biscuity taste to it. Not a massive, it is a very mild flavour compared to the others. Um, and that is that hasn't changed when I sort of added that last bit in with the chocolate, apparently. Uh, but no, it's still got this sort of biscuity, multi, like digestive McVitie's flavour to it. Not, But again, not a massive, just a slight bit to it. You know, the crackers that you put your s'mores on while you roast them. But the, um, the other chocolate did come through at the end, right at the end though. Don't know why. I don't know if yeah, shake to wake probably, and I've missed it somewhere. But anyway, fantastic beer. Wasn't expecting that. That is really, really nice. I think that's. Yeah, chocolate's at the bottom. It's like it's settled, but that much left. There's like a chocolate milkshake right at the bottom there. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go in and enjoy this. It's a very, very nice beer. At 8.4 as well, you can't tell. Flavours are nice and balanced. It's yeah, I would just wish there'd be more chocolate. But I think I think I've missed something there. Anyway, um if anyone knows if this is just shake to egg, please let me know because I'm curious. Because I think I've missed it, but I don't know. It might just be that it's not printed on the can. Anyway, uh, so yeah, if uh, Vault Cities, even small, double maple, triple chocolate, blueberry at 8.4%. That is a mouthful. Out of 10, that's a solid 9 out of 10. I think it's really, really nice. I really like that. Um, yeah, and if this is a like an annual thing they do, and they just keep adding more, I'm looking forward to the next one. Anyway, uh, if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't, if you've not had it, I'll leave a link to Vault City's website down below. Where well, you can pick one of these up, I think, I don't know. I got this about a month and a half ago. It only really turned up last week. Um, so, yeah, I've kind of got a lot to get through. But, yeah, it's probably still there. It's Vault City, they don't really, as much as they sell... They also have an abundance of stock for quite a lot of their stuff. I think this is one of them. Um, anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.